Hi, I'm Christian. Welcome back to another On The Road video brought to you by AppliantVideo.com. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. Today we're working on a Kenmore side-by-side -side refrigerator. Uh, the customer's complaint is that uh, after the ice maker is finished cycling and it fills with water, there is still some water that leaks out of the actual uh, fill tube. So uh, the customer had the ice maker disconnected and the water was still leaking. So we're replacing the uh, primary inlet valve assembly. Uh, one of the solenoids is probably getting hung up and uh, not closing all the way when it should. So to begin the repair, we do have to pull up the unit and uh, access the rear of the appliance. The tools you will need to complete this repair are a quarter inch nut driver. Now that we've accessed the rear of the appliance, we're now going to remove the back service panel, which is just a cardboard panel here at the, the very bottom of the back. Uh, it looks like there are seven quarter inch screws that we're going to remove. Once the screws have been removed, we can now take a hold of the panel and pull it towards us and the bottom down, just like that, and we'll go ahead and remove it. Now we have access to the components on the rear side of the appliance, and the water valve assembly is on the right hand side. We can now remove three quarter inch screws. We're going to remove this ground one just because it might be in the way and then the two quarter inch screws that actually secure the water valve housing onto the chassis of the refrigerator. And now the two quarter inch screws. We can now pull out the water valve assembly as much as we can, right to about here. We can now disconnect both connections at the water line by pulling straight off. This water valve assembly does not have compression fittings, it has John Guest fittings, so to remove the water lines from the actual valve, we do have to push in on the John Guest fitting and pull out on the valve. When you do so, whatever a remaining water, residual water that's in the line will spill out, so make sure you have a towel uh, to soak up the water. Now we could set the old valve assembly aside. So the original part number for the water valve on this refrigerator no longer existed, so Whirlpool, who makes the parts for the refrigerator, uh, substituted it to this kit here. Um, this kit comes with three different pieces, the water valve assembly, a John Guest fitting coupling, and a new water line. Um, they give you this kit just in case the old style water valve had compression fittings. If we did, we would have to change out some of the water line. Uh, so since it is not, we're gonna discard the actual water line and the coupling and just install the valve. First step we're gonna do is connect the actual valve to the filter housing outlet hose. We're just gonna push it straight on. Just like that until it stops. We can now reconnect the two wire harnesses to the valve. Now, uh, the terminals are a different size, so there's no way that you can really confuse the two. We got a quarter inch terminal here on the right. We're gonna push it straight on, and then it looks like a one eighth of an inch on the left. 
once those have been pushed on. Uh, the actual water tubings are also a different size. Uh, the one that goes to the reservoir for the water dispenser out the door is a thicker, maybe a 5 16 inch line. And then the one that goes to the actual ice maker itself is a quarter inch line. So these lines also are going to be pushed directly into the valve. So we're just gonna line them up, push them straight in, do the same for the other side. We can now reinstall the valve with the two quarter inch screws we removed on the side. And then also the quarter inch grounding wire strap we removed on the side as well. Before we go any further, I would recommend that we check for leaks. We've turned the water back on, checked for leaks, found none. So now we're going to go ahead and reinstall the uh, back cover and also the actual screws that secure the back cover in place. So first thing we're going to do is route our power cord through the water lines, push the water lines in the actual cavity a little bit, just like that. We can now start lining up the actual back panel here. The top of this panel here is going to get tucked inside of the lip here for a groove. So we're just going to tuck it in there, line up our screw holes best as possible, and then start resecuring the panel with the seven quarter inch screws. Now that we've uh, installed the back panel, we're going to finish installing the last three quarter inch screws. We can now reposition the refrigerator and this will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality in-home repair video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.